This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Let's take a look at this week's top stocks, crypto, and ETFs to watch. We'll start with Deer, which reports earnings on Wednesday. Taking a look back, the stock topped out in the 170s back in 2018, tempted to break out in 2019, the start of 2020, finally succeeding in August 2020 and taking off in one of the strongest rallies of 2020, uh, rising what about uh, Oh, about tripling or quadrupling in price off of the March 2020 low. Now, the stock topped out right near the 400 level March 2021, failed to break out in May, failed another breakout in August, and it's sort of drifting sideways in this potential, I don't know, can it be a, a, a head and shoulders pattern or something else or just a quiet consolidation? Uh, this level right here, which is a 50-week moving average of 330, is the place to watch. You want the stock to hold that in base so that it could finally turn higher and gather higher prices in uh, coming months, coming years. Uh, looking ahead, let's go over to uh, Bitcoin, which had a really tough week. Uh, Bitcoin dropped uh, about 12% uh, last week. As you can see, we had this uh, contested breakout. It started back in October finally pushing up uh, to about the 69,000 level at the start of November. Well, those folks uh, got stuck in a bull trap here with this very intense sell-off, which dropped uh, Bitcoin back below the prior swing high here from April. Uh, now, this looks like a double top right here, but many double tops will eventually evolve into cup and handle patterns. So we have to see if we get support coming in, especially above this swing high right here at 53,000 perhaps get that round the bend and uh, break out in 2022. Moving along, uh, Zoom Interactive reports of this week. Now, Zoom has a very interesting history. Uh, Zoom um, uh, was one of the hottest stocks last year. It went from about, you see from October 29th, from about the $60 level all the way up to almost 600 because of lockdowns and the transition to remote, uh, uh, to remote um, uh, meeting place. Uh, well, the stock got usually overbought, and as restrictions have been lifted, the stock has been selling off. In addition to the lifted restrictions, a lot of other players are coming into the remote uh, meeting uh, uh, space, and that competition has not been good for earnings at, uh, at uh, uh, Zoom. Uh, now, as you can see, it's trading down here right around the uh, 618 retracement of the prior rally. Now, this is a good spot for it to turn higher, but it's not doing very well here. Uh, it's been trading here since September, so the next target would be down here around the 170 level. Best Buy reports earnings. I think it's on um, Tuesday of this week, and Best Buy has been a real solid performer. It based between 2018 and 2020, uh, taking off in a uh, breakout coming up to about the 125 level in November, consolidating very nicely, and then going straight higher, uh, breaking out uh, just about two or three weeks ago and coming up to the 137 level. Now, the problem with this rally is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of higher prices. So we have very overbought on this weekly. If you come back up and look at this overbought, it's right up to this level in 2020. It's right up to this level in 2017. Uh, that means sellers have an advantage. Now, the good part about Best Buy earnings is we may get a little flavor for Friday's uh, Black Friday event and the start of the holiday season in terms of the sentiment expressed by the company. Uh, finally, uh, the iShares, which is the um, uh, small cap uh, or Russell 2000 index fund, as you can see, broke out above a 2018 resistance in October 2020, uh, yeah, 2020 uh, came up to about the 234 level in March and then pulled back in this uh, symmetrical triangle. You could call it an ascending triangle. Uh, with uh, support right here between about 230 and 232. In fact, the 50-day moving average uh, it was right here about, uh, as you can see, it's right here about 230. So right in the zone right here should be a very high odd spot for a turnaround and for the uh, index to uh, turn higher. Now, positive seasonality is in place and will remain in place until March of next year for small caps. So this may be a very good place to get on board.